another edition of Notre Dame Lacks TV. Today I have an offensive drill that's going to focus on off-ball movement. I get a lot of inquiries about, um, you know, Coach, how do you, how do you teach off-ball action? How do you teach guys to read your defender? Well, this is a pretty good drill in order to do that. This drill is called Skip Hunter. Okay? And the way this drill is worked is there's three lines set up. There's balls in this corner, up in this corner, or, or, excuse me, up in this alley, in this alley. Um, and the way this works is this guy will dodge to start, he comes down this alley. This attackman here will come up and get the ball, will make one pass, right? And while that's happening, the coach is gonna be involved in this. The coach is gonna stand here. And what his job is to do is to move one way or the other. He's gonna either move forward or he's gonna move backwards, depending. And basically that guy, what it is, is the backside help of the defense, right? So if this guy is in the drill, Right? He's sitting there and he's reading me as a coach. So if I move this way, this guy will move the opposite. If I move this way, then he'll be able to move the opposite this way. The idea of it is, is if this guy is helping out on the crease, if there's a slide that had gone, he's helping on the crease, he's working, you know, maybe there's a top guy who's going high or, or a guy that dives low. Either way, the coach is going to be helping on that guy, um, imagining that he's going to be helping on that guy, and this guy is going to be able to read that in accordingly. And so the idea is, as the coach moves, I'll just put C as for coach right now. As the coach moves to help out in the crease on the back side, this guy's going to come to the front side. One pass here, two passes there, and it's a skip hunter. So essentially, this guy is looking for that skip pass based on this guy's action to, think, um, to be able to move the back side. All right? You know, same thing going on the other side. So there's a reason why there's balls on both sides. You can go one after the other if you want. This guy's going to alley dodge here. The next guy in line, right, as that guy has just gone, is going to come up, get the ball, bang. Here's the coach. Let's say he goes, let's say he goes top side this time, just helps out just a little bit. And then this guy's going to come to this space, and you're going to try to find that skip pass right over top. So one pass, and then two passes, and then shoot the ball. All right? Some of the coaching points for this drill. Um, again, like I said at the very beginning, it's, it's going to target off-ball movement, which is something that's hard to make those drills because everybody gets so focused on having the ball on their stick. This is really puts an emphasis on how do you work off-ball. Second thing is, how do you teach your guy to work, excuse me, to think about where your defender is? So if you're the coach here and this guy's, right, this guy's looking to read, he's watching the inside plays, watching that coach um, help out and that what that's going to help our guys is to help figure out okay where's my defender how can I make it really tough for him on the back side second thing is you know throwing this skip pass from here to here is a challenge you want to throw this skip pass over the defense and so these the skip pass can't be on a rope um, at, at you know f five yards high let's say or excuse me five five feet high from right here what you really want to do is you want to throw the ball overhand over the defense and I call it eight to eight you want to throw the ball eight feet high and catch it eight feet high to another guy so if I deliver the ball I don't want to throw a sidearm pass I want to throw it overhand over the defense so a release point is up here and the catch point of the other guy is high as well so we can catch it and release it all right that drill is called skip hunter thank you for watching ND Lacks TV and look out for more drills to come